Hey Spices! So in today's video, we are going to be making my favorite meatloaf. We are going to be cooking it in the air fryer. So if you want to know how to make it, let's go spice things up. The first thing I'm going to do is add my ground beef into a bowl. Next, I'm going to add a half an onion that I already chopped up. If you have less ground beef, you'll want to add only a quarter of an onion. And a package of Ritz crackers. Um, I am just crumbling them up. And then I can open the package up and add them right to the hamburger. Now, like I said, if you have less ground beef, you probably would only need a half a package. But I have four people in our family and three of them are boys, so they eat a lot. Next, I'm gonna add my seasoning, which is garlic powder and Johnny seasoned salt. And now two eggs. And now I'm just gonna stir this, but I'm gonna stir it with my hands. And you wanna make sure you mix all the ingredients together. All right, that is pretty good. I'm just gonna take my meatloaf mixture and put it in a meatloaf pan or bread pan, just so that I can start forming the shape of the meatloaf before I put it in the air fryer. Now this is the tricky part. I'm gonna take the meatloaf and put it into the air fryer. And I'm just gonna kind of form it in here. Okay, that looks good. Into the air fryer it goes. We are gonna cook it at 375 for 30 minutes. We're gonna make the sauce, so the first thing you wanna do is add ketchup. I'm gonna add about that much. And now mustard. About that much. And next, brown sugar. This is the glaze to go on top. Let's take a look. Okay, so now you wanna take your sauce and put it over the top. And just make sure it's evenly coated and this is a delicious glaze. Now, if you could see, it looked a little burnt on the top and that's just because I did not push my meatloaf down far enough and so it got a little close to the burner on the top. So if you don't want that to happen, just go ahead and push it down in the middle a little bit more. And now back into the air fryer it goes. And we are gonna cook it at 375 for five minutes. All right, let's take a look. Ooh -hoo. And there you go. Your meatloaf is done. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Thank you guys so much. Bye and see you in the next video.